Hey guys, what's up? It's Protect the iPhone 3G here. Um, I have an update for you guys since I don't really have any content at the moment. Um, so I have an update on a couple of things. Um, first of all, my uh, Griffin Clarify. Doesn't that look nice? Want to see the back? There you go. That's the back. What's that little thing over there? Oh, no, just some stuff. Yep. Looks very nice. Um, I decided to go the same color that I did my Capsule Rebel. Uh, so, I, the reason I won't have a video on this today is because these things take a lot of work, alright? So, I spray painted it fully, but that's not enough. I still have some spray paint stuck on the inside a bit, and I want to sandpaper it out. And I might actually just sandpaper the back, um, so it'll feel more smooth to the touch and feel better in your hand. I'm definitely going to need to sandpaper out the inside a bit. Some areas have that uh, the spray paint inside, and I don't want that, so I'm gonna have to, you know, get it off somehow. I'm gonna have to clean it out really nicely. Uh, you know, mod a bit of things like such as the camera so it'll slide better. Um, let me open that up. So you know, there's the side, back, other side. There's the inside. Have a bit of have a, have a bit of um, paint stuck in there, as you can see. Um, just a tiny bit on the corner here. Uh, this one looks pretty nice. Uh, this one's actually completely clean, except for that little bottom piece. You see how it's whiter over there? Uh, it's fine, I guess. Now this piece got a bit damaged during the process, as you can see over here. It's sort of bumpy and weird over here, um, but it's fine, you know, you don't really notice it. I've got a bit of bumpiness over there as well, you can see that. Oh, this, oh there we go. You can see it really well in this picture. I see that bumpiness over here and over here. And uh, so, you know, I'm going to definitely do some of my own modding today. Uh, sandpapering and smoothing it out so it'll be generally really nice and uh, you know review probably probably tomorrow on this actually so uh, you know stay tuned for that um this is Griffin clarify with the sliding lens and it actually went really well better than I expected much better than the capsule rebel um, in case you don't remember on the capsule rebel uh, do not spray paint the silicone because it moves around and it gets cracked up and it, it's really disgusting and that was a really bad idea um, but if you want to spray paint the spine, that's fine. By all means, go ahead. The spine is a very good thing for spray painting. Um, Alright, well, what else was there? Remember that review I did on the OtterBox Defender? Right after the review, I was rushing to pull off that silicone skin, and I ripped it. Can you believe that? It ripped. I didn't rip it, but I was just taking it off like normal, and it ripped. And that was just, that got me really pissed off like honestly that's like a fifty dollar case right um they donated me they donated it to me but still it was pretty sad also the case had i think it was like some sort of pre-shipping case or something because it had many different little bugs in it for example um there was some dents in the back where the apple logo should be and the screen was all scuffed up when i got it and it was pretty messed up um i contacted them and they they said, oh, you know, like, that's, um, that's a problem and everything, um, just give me your full name and address. And I'm like, what, you don't need any proof? And they, I just gave them my full name and address. They actually went to their database, saw that I did, in fact, get that case, and then they just, like this, shipped me out a new one. Now, why am I excited for that new one? Well, I love the OtterBox, okay? I don't have to hide it. That was a very, very nice case. I would use it as my everyday case because I personally do not mind the bulk. Um, but it had a couple of problems, such as it was sharp around the corners, and that made my screen protector uh, all messed up. So now I'm getting a new one, and it's going to be probably really smooth and really nice, and um, that's definitely going to be the case I'll be using. Uh, but the exciting, the most exciting part about all of that is that I'm getting it in white. I'm, I'm re really very excited about that. Why? 
because I have not seen in any review on the internet, like, I searched on YouTube, on Google, everywhere, there's been no real-life photos of the white Otterbox Defender. That's really strange, I mean, that there was no photos anywhere, that's, that's really weird, how come? I have no idea. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely going to be really happy to do that review because my auto box that I got was all messed up. I'm just hoping, like, I'm praying to God that th the problems I had with my old auto box were manufacturing defects. If they probably are. Um, but, you know, when we'll get it, we'll see. It'll probably be on Monday because they have the fastest shipping. Um, auto box ships in like a day, so hopefully by Monday I'll have it. Um... What else? Guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. You know, usual stuff. And, uh, you know, I guess I'm done. I'll see you guys later. Peace.